How? How do you do it? What? What's wrong? Oh, uh, you've been watching a whole bunch of anime and playing a whole bunch of Square Enix games, and now you want to recreate that awesome hair in Blender using the actual hair tools and not random hair cards. How? Mm, yeah. No, 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 I know your pain. And so, I got you. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Technovi, the number one channel for your tech tutorials, news, and reviews. My name is Viraj Das, and in this tutorial, we are doing something awesome, mind-blowing, completely universe-shattering. We are creating stylized anime Square Enix-like hair in Blender, not using hair cards, but using actual hair. This is going to be awesome. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out all this, and... Now, I'm creating this tutorial just to make it so easy for all of you. So, let's dive right in. And welcome to my computer. Glorious. So, the first thing we're going to do, pretty obvious, fire up Blender. Because Blender is awesome. And now, goodbye default cube. And we will replace it with whatever head mesh we desire to use. I'm using a head mesh from Unreal Engine MetaHumans, but for this tutorial, feel free to use whatever you'd like. Now, if you do have a skeleton, just hide it so we can see what we're doing by pressing H and zoom in our selection. Amazing, we have our head. Perfect. Now, if we go ahead to edit mode and align our view to the right by holding tilde right. Now, we can see uh, if we click x-ray, we can see that we are selecting both sides of the head, and we're in the right perspective. Perfect. One more thing before we start selecting, though. Hold select box and select lasso, because that's what we want. It allows us to do fancy stuff like, oh yeah, that's fancy, but that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Go ahead and try to, as best you can, select the scalp of our mesh's head, like our head mesh. Or you could start tweaking it by holding shift and selecting more as you go. And BAM! Right there. In my opinion, that's perfect. Make sure, oh wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Make sure both sides are pretty much exactly the same. If everything's working, they should be with the x-ray tool, but if they're not, just go ahead and do what, do what you saw me do right there. Just tweak it a little bit. And this is pretty good. If I turn off x-ray mode, we can actually see the selection I made properly. Pretty, pretty good. I'm proud of myself there. <laughs> so, the magic button we're going to press next is P, selection. And if we go back to object mode, we will now notice that these are two different objects. That's a good thing. So, now, how do we get hair onto our scalp? Well, magic! And that magic is called select it and press shift a and go to curve and press empty hair magic right so now that we have empty hair on here if you just keep going through the drop downs you will eventually find it curves we can go ahead and rename that to hair or you know what totally awesome hair because it's totally awesome and then we are going to go, uh, make sure it's selected, and go to Sculpt Mode. And wait a minute. Hmm, something's different. 
This sculpt mode is probably not the one you're used to if you're just there sculpting normal stuff. The hair sculpt mode is different. And it's awesome. So, the first thing we're going to do is, down here we have all our brushes. And same thing up here. And make sure we're on add at first because now uh, we can start adding hair. I know this is not exactly what we're expecting, but everything must start somewhere. So go ahead and open the side panel here, press tools, and now we can see the properties of our brush. This reminded me of Photoshop a little bit. <laughs> so, um, First thing we're going to do is, for me, and for my mesh, the length of 0 0.3 meters, which is a bit, uh, which is the default, is a bit small. So, I'm going to turn it up to like 3, and that looks pretty good. Make sure that the length, and not that this matters too much because you can change it later on, but the length matches roughly what you want your hair to be for your specific model. It's different for everyone. So for me, I'm going to go with three points. I like making my computer work a little bit. So 16, because we need the hair to look nice and smooth. And just go ahead, start painting. What I rec- oh wait, before we do that, uh, symmetry is down here. Press mirror X, or depending on the orientation of your mesh, Y, or if it's really crazy, Z. But for me, it's X. And if you're using any metahuman head, then yes, it's going to be X. And just start putting down pieces of hair. I, what I like to do if I'm going for the anime look is I like to have this front portion done first. Where then uh, go to comb, the comb tool, and just start moving it down. And if you ever worked with the uh, hair in Blender, you'll notice this is actually not that different. But... There's one little thing that in after we've done the most of the shaping, it will end up being uh, just a tiny bit of a different process. Teensy tiny bit, but it leaves us with completely different results. Looking more like anime and less realistic, which is what we want. And once we're satisfied with that, go back and add more Where's, there we go. Add to, <laughs> it's going crazy for a minute there. And again, do not you do not have to copy my hairstyle here. If you have any uh, more artistic direction that you want to take your character's hair, feel f completely free. This is this is just how I'm thinking. I want my character to look. Maybe big maybe there. Uh, this is looking decent uh, like right now it looks kind of weird but trust me this is gonna look awesome all right so now that his head looks like a porcupine it's time to work on the back and one tool i like to use just to make the back look more anime like Think like Sasuke from Naruto, or even to the extent of like clouds, one piece going up pretty high. Uh, if you go to the grow shrink tool, you can actually make individual strands longer. So I'm gonna make the, the back longer. Might make it a bit shorter here. And just go ahead and make whatever you feel follows what you need your character to be. Remember, I have symmetry on for all of this. Eventually, I will turn it off for more finer details. All right, so now I will turn off symmetry by, again, just reselecting whatever letter I clicked before. And I am going to add little final touch, maybe from right there. That looks pretty good. If I grow just that one right here, and maybe bring it down. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. 
grow it just a bit. Oh, too much, too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. And from here, what we can do, again, this is for, for, for tutorial sake, I'm just going to roll with this. You should completely tweak this to however you want it to be. But now is where the magic comes in. I know I've used that word a lot, but this is really magic. All right, so just pull up the timeline here and go to Asset Browser. And you'll notice, whoa, we got all this cool stuff to work with. Here, click on Hair. And see this interpolate hair? Go ahead and drag and drop. And it modifiers. Uh, if you see interpolate hair here, then you've done it. A-OK. -okay. In Surface, go ahead and click whatever your scalp you've set it to be, and look at that. It looks really goofy right now. I got you, don't worry. <laughs> For me, I'm gonna go ahead and make this like density 50 maybe. Go with whatever your computer can handle. Blender, please do not crash. And after we do that, go ahead and click, uh, or drag and drop clump hair curves right on there. And we have absolutely destroyed our hair. High five. Bam. I'm going to pretend you high five me there, even though I know you didn't. So, don't worry. We can fix it. Down here where it says existing guide map, go ahead and uncheck that. And we are back to what we had before. And now it's all up to however we tweak this guide mask value here. And this is already looking like anime hair. Oh, and now that we've interpolated it, that still does not mean, because what interpolate does is it adds all these like extra hair strands we didn't have to draw on to our guides, but we still can actually edit our guides here. Isn't that awesome? So just go ahead, play with the values. Uh, for guide distance, the the higher the, the higher the value is, the less spikes will be in your hair. The lower the value is, the more spiky your hair will be. I like. Well, it really depends on every uh, hairstyle. I think this is pretty good for now. And just keep on editing until it looks fabulous. And there we go. Doesn't this look like anime hair? This is awesome. This is like Square Enix level. Okay, maybe not. But it is real hair. These are not hair cards. These are actual hair strands. It looks amazing. And that right there is exactly how you make super awesome hair in Blender using actual hair and not hair cards. And this hair is stylized like Cloud Strife or Clive Rossfield or any anime character because they all have the awesome, super cool, spiky hair. So, I really hope you learned something in this video. So please go ahead, like, subscribe, share this video with uh, if you have any friend who you think could use some more anime hair in their lives. And I'll see you in the next video.